All right, so today we're doing section 510. Uh, obviously, you guys have noticed we've done all the way up to section like 5.5, and then we jump to 5.8, 5.9, 5.10. Tomorrow will be 5.6, um, and then we'll do 6.1. So we're about to end chapter 5 pretty soon. There's a reason why we are doing it the way we're doing it, okay? Um, so it's not just that we got lost or anything like that. It's just we're trying to kind of make uh, the lessons make sense in a specific order, at least when we teach it. So like 5.8 and 5.9, those were the only two sections that we did together. And, and the reason was because they were basically the same section, right? It was just easier versus harder. Um, so we wanted to teach those together instead of teaching like 5.6, 5.8, and then 5.9, 5.10. It, it would have kind of broken up the same topic. So, so we did that on purpose. So that's why we're kind of jumping around right now, just kind of finishing up the stuff that we left out. So... For us today, we're going to be doing uh, working together problems. Uh, there is a formula for that, okay? And it's a pretty easy formula. It's, it's nothing too terrible. Um, and uh, calculators would be helpful when you do this stuff. Um, and uh, the work problems themselves are not too difficult. They'll give you all the information you need. Just kind of pay attention to what they're telling you, see what they want, okay? So let's start off with the formula itself, okay? So the working together formula looks like this. T equals to x, y over x plus y. Okay, that's the formula right there. Okay, x is the amount of time it takes one person. Okay, and by it, I mean whatever the job is, cutting the, the grass, painting a room, building a house, uh, picking fruits, whatever. But it's the amount of time it takes one person, okay, to do a specific job. Okay, why is the amount of time it takes the other person? So the amount of time it takes the other person. Now, you'll be able to, like, write names, like right here, Peter and John. So, X could be Peter, Y can be John, okay? And that's gonna, X would be, like, how long it takes Peter to do it, how long it takes John to do it, right? You can put in the names after. But that's X and Y. And then the, the letter T is the amount of time it takes both of them. So this is the amount of time it takes both. Okay, usually there's not too many complaints from my students about this stuff. They're like, okay, that wasn't that bad. Um, sometimes some of the problems look a little weird, but for the most part, it, they're pretty straightforward. Okay, um, so you guys have had some time to copy down that bottom one, but then we have three other examples, so I'm going to have to kind of pause the video so you guys can kind of write it down. Um, I chose to kind of like type these out, that way in case my writing is not the best. So here you go. So number one says, uh, Peter can mow the lawn in 20 minutes, and John can mow the lawn in 40 minutes. How long will it take for them to mow the lawn together? Okay. So it takes one person 20 minutes. It takes the other person 40 minutes. How long does it take both of them? So which variable am I solving for, X, Y, or T? T, right? Because it says together, right? Both of them, right? So I'm solving for t. That means I have to let somebody be x. I got to let somebody be y. So let's just let Peter be x since he's the first person they mentioned. Uh, so that means that x is what? What's the value of x? 20, right? 20 minutes. What's the value of y? 40, 40 minutes, okay? So now let me just write out my formula, t equals x, y over x plus y. Remember, guys, I always write the formula over and over and over again because this is how you memorize it without trying, okay? So t is equal to 20 times 40 over 20 plus 40. Well, that means uh, 20 times 40, 800, right? And... Uh, Divided by 20 plus 40, 60, right? Um, 
These zero, you guys know that you can cancel this zero with that zero, right? These, that's the equivalent of dividing both by 10, right? Anytime two numbers are dividing and they both have a zero at the end, it's the equivalent of basically um, reducing by 10. So that's all I'm doing. I'm dividing by 10 right now. But I'm going to do more, okay? I'm not going to stop there. So t is equal to 80 <coughs> over 6. So um, I can reduce that. Uh, what would that be? 6 goes into 8 twice. That's the 20. So that'd be 23. And yeah, so let's let's just do it here. So that's once. We subtract. It's 20. That's 3. 18 with the remainder of 2. So it's 2, 6. So it's 13 and a third. Okay? So time is 13. If you get your calculator, it would come out to this. Or you can write it as a fraction, 13 and one-third. Or uh, you could write it as, uh, what would that be, 39, 39 over 3 minutes. But usually they like it in decimal form. So 13.333 minutes. That's how long it's going to take them both. Does that make sense that that if the fastest person can do it in 20 and you give them someone else to help them that they'll do it faster than 20 minutes? Yeah, right? Because they got help. Right? They got help now. So so that makes sense. It should be less. Now, if you're doing this and all of a sudden it's like it's going to take them 100 minutes to do it together, something's off. Right? Because if, if someone can do it in 20, it shouldn't take them pretty much longer than that unless the other person is like really slow. Right? Um, if the other person took like 800 minutes, well, yeah, the time might actually go up because the other person is going to slow them down. Um, but there you go. I mean, that's not too hard, right? Not too hard. Let's do another one. I think this is going to be the same type of problem, okay? Meaning they're going to give us uh, uh, time for one, time for the other, sometimes time for both. It depends, okay? Oh, why did I put one on that one? It should have been two. Let me see if I can fix that. Yeah. Oh, the program did that itself. It wasn't me. Okay, I apologize that it says one. It should say two. But uh, right now, I'll see if I can fix it later. Uh, but right now when I tried it, the program predetermined the number. I don't know why, because notice how for the next one it went to 3. So I don't know how it went 1. It didn't call this one 2, did it? No, okay. So I don't know why it did that, but whatever. You guys can write examples. This one says, Joan can clean the store in 8 hours. If Dan helps, it takes them 6 hours. It takes them 6 hours, right? Without help... How long would it take Dan to complete this job? So Joan can clean it in eight hours. If Dan helps, it takes them six hours. Without help, how long would it take Dan to complete this job? So, um... I mean, I can assign X to the first name, right? Joan. So X is equal to what? Eight, Eight hours, okay? All right, do I know what Y is? No, that's what I'm solving for. What did they give me then? They gave me T, right? They said together, because they mentioned them, right? It takes them six hours. That means together they can do it in six, okay? So then what we got to figure out is how long it takes Dan to do this. So I'm going to go ahead with the same equation. T equals to x, y over x plus y. So I know T is 6. Uh, I know 8 is x. So that's 8y over 8 plus y. And I got to solve for y. And it might look like that might be hard to do, but... Didn't we learn, um, let, me, let me show you a little, little trick here. What do you do when you have 6 over 1, 
equal to 8y over 8 plus y. Uh, what are we supposed to do when you have a fraction equal to a fraction? Cross multiply. Should I cancel the denominators? No, because they're not the same. They're supposed to match, right? That's, which is perfectly fine. I'm not expecting us to cancel, cancel it here, okay? But I, I, I want to make sure you guys don't get into the habit of, oh, I remember, cross multiply, cancel, right? Like, no, then you're going to be in trouble. So we are going to cross multiply, okay? Um, so I know that was a little thing, a little trick that we used to do for solving these big equations, but we're not going to do that here. So 6 times 8 plus y is equal to 8y. And now we're just going to solve for y. Uh, first, we'll distribute. That's 48 plus 6y equals to 8y. If I subtract 6y on both sides, I'm going to throw this over here, okay? It becomes negative, right? So 8y minus 6y, that's 2y. So let me just put that over here. 48 is equal to 2y. And if I divide both sides by 2, what do I get as my answer? 24 what? What's my unit? Hours, right? So there's your answer. That's, all, that's how long it takes, Dan. They do like your answers to be in sentence form, but as long as you, as long as you solve it, that's the most important part. But a lot of times they'll be like, okay, what was your answer? Oh, it's going to take, take Dan 24 hours to complete this, okay? They would prefer that you write them in sentences, but it's okay if you don't. Just know that usually standardized tests, they're going to give you answers in, in whole sentences. All right, what do you guys think? Not too bad? I mean, that's pretty much every type of problem you can get from this. Either you have to solve for T, or you're going to solve for either X or Y, depending on what they give you. Usually it's Y. So here's the third one. I think we have three, we have four, yeah. We have four. And they're all basically the same thing. But I just want to give you some problems where, where maybe they give us both. Um, uh, both of them, uh, their times, or maybe they give you just one. So this is going to be another one where you know both of their times. It says, Will and Matthew own a small business. Again, that doesn't matter, right? That doesn't give me any information. But it, it, they own a small business. Will, working alone, can complete a job in six hours. Matthew can complete the same job in 10 hours. How long would it take them to complete the job working together? All right, so we have Will and Matthew owning a small business. Will, working alone, can complete a job in 6 hours. Matthew can do the same job in 10. How long will it take them? So they gave me times for both uh, people or both things, I guess you could say, right? So um, Will, will call X since that was the first uh, thing that they mentioned, so six hours. And then we'll say that Matthew is going to be the 10 hours, okay? So T equals XY over X plus Y is my formula. So I'll just put my numbers in. 6 times 10 over 6 plus 10. So that's 60 over 16, okay? Um, I'll try to reduce that a little bit. Um, I can reduce that by what? I, by 4? Yeah, I can do 4. Yeah, I can do 4. So T is equal to 15 over 4. And 15 over 4 is approximately 3 and 3 quarters. So 3.75. So the time would be 3.75 hours. Again, you can use a calculator, so don't, if you're like, how the heck did he do that? Just don't worry. You can use calculus if you need it. If you leave your answer as 15 fourths hours, that's okay, but usually it's better to see like a, a number, like two hours, eight hours, seven hours, right? Even if it's in decimal. It gives us a better idea of how many hours, whereas if I tell you I'm going to do it in 17 quarter hours, you're going to be like, what is that? Like, Oh, that's four and a quarter. Okay, so in a little over four hours, right? So it just sounds better to give me a decimal for time. All right, one more of these things, and then we're done uh, with the lesson. I'm going to pause it. All right, so last question here. It says, it can take Peter 20 days to build a house garage all by himself. If he works with his friend, together they can build a house garage in 16 days. 
How many days will it take the friend to complete the job alone? So um, this time we're trying to find the value of a person, right? The, the time for a person, not a time together. We know the time together is 16. We know that Peter can do it in 20. Um, so how long does it take the friend to do it by themselves? So, here we go. So let me just uh, mark down what I know. I'm just going to call Peter X. Okay, so 20 days. And then T is going to be 16 days. So T equals to XY over X plus Y. Um, I know that 16 is T. I know that 20 is X. I'm just going to write it in. And then I'm going to cross uh, multiply like we said, right? I'm just going to make this into a fraction. And I'm going to cross multiply. So it's going to be um, multiplying diagonally, okay? So that's going to give me 16 times 20 plus y is equal to 20y. So 16 times 20, uh, 2 times 16 is 32, so that'd be 320 plus 16y is equal to 20y. We'll move the 16y over to the right side by subtracting. So that's going to give me 4y. And then um, if I divide both sides by 4, I know 32 gets divided by 4 8 times. So it's going to be 80. 80 days. That's how long it's going to take the friend. So your homework is going to be on quizzes. I'll send that to you guys right now.